Um, good information Liquid has gained, and Yumpy's already ready to flank around. Angel is patiently waiting, but they have already conquered the side. In the meantime, Team is sick, might be concussed, but Yumpy's there with two. Obviously, the Lurk's paying off for the Finn. Nice cold, he remains, and two more players to come at him. As he realizes, Angel's just on the edge of the smoke. Another frack he finds. No issues with that one, and poor Zippin... Savior of the day, savior of the pistol. Starts off good, second is not granted, though, of the quad from Yumpy. Respectively. A oh, nice little look from them. Four out of the eight teams. Oh no, wait, that's that's wrong. Four teams out of how many will be qualified. It's been a long day. Oh and I'm really worried about Angel here as he's about uh -oh. to get peeked on. A nice little pop flash. And a good health of that camera that is still up, by the way, from Cryptics. He's going to hang on to it. That's a useful info. And luckily, Zipan manages to clear it out. I just want to say it's about time that this thing gets destroyed. And FPX. Forever. They got at least some control of the site, but in the meantime, it's shots coming through, but they both change and exchange uh, that through what? the cage. And well, in the meantime, I'm taking it back. It's the here. sheriff in hands. It is going to go down relatively uncontested, and that is because Team Liquid playing for the retake. They have a Seekers. Mm -hmm. We're screaming at Bladestorm. They have a way in an opening. They're trying to work out the best approach to this, but FBX is set. The Trailblaze is destroyed. And Zipan's trying to lead the line with this aggression coming out. Yeah, the thing is, if they just descend Chaos over on the side, it might be Yumpy who can capitalize on it. And talking about it, all his blades, all his daggers already went past. It doesn't change the matter of fact that Shadow blinds them all, but Chao is there to save the day. Still, a two versus two that is winnable for Link and Cryptics, but most definitely not easy. Angel's just waiting for the Diffuser to come in, and here comes the Flash, but the ult of Chao could save it, and it most definitely does. They pay attention to so and therefore, Angel can prevail. The first sign of Nima Sick is... Come on, mate. This, this this trick is too cheap. I've, I've seen it a few times by now. So he keeps on lurking in mid. He hears a bit of the judge nearby. But Yampi should be now taking out the equation. Most definitely he is. Nima Sick keeps the lurkers away. And the side safe. Dolcast breaking the tripwire means that Nima Sick can't play his little games. Scream trying to close in the distance on the side. Nice use of the cyber no. cage to make his way through. Him and Cryptics have been playing no. off each other so well. It keeps on going for Scream. And Soulcast there to finally see it had the operator. If he could do the same on this map, that would be great. Yeah. The Yampi just manages to sliver out of the site just as Soulcast goes down. But he comes back. No he cancels way. it. Oh, no he gets way. onto Dimasek and luckily it's traded out. I haven't seen that since Shinobi did it for Cloud9. That's absolutely wild. And, well... It's still not giving him too much. <laughs> well, he was a little too eager there, Angel. No way this is working. The Rolling Thunder's coming in, and the Earth is shaking. Zippin's taken out as well, and Link's on it. He might just store it. Definitely goes for it. He's taking a bit of time. Half it is, but the wall bank's too easy for Xiao. It was costly once. And the MPs is always surprising as with new agent picks you saw it over the course of stage two as well where he suddenly joined killjoy over on this map omen seems to be fitting in as well with the kind of versatile approach he can do zippin in the meantime has to get rid of the dart in his body but it doesn't change the theme sick feels quite decent over the course of this map still a good aiming coming for cryptics but link is within the shots the defense once more weakened and information gained scream's not even afraid to hold his ground he's not gonna remain in a scary position, total opposite, and Soulcast is waiting. Two flashes he has to coordinate himself with Scream, but Spike has hit the ground, and this obviously causes issues on the side of Liquid. You don't want to see FPX gain momentum and go close to a tie. And slowly and steady, they are ready up for a plan. Soulcast still has a second one, and then it's surprise from Scream that is needed. He would have to dash and also could do an updraft. Second flash is in, finds the first one. He knows about the second and behind Steam is sick as well. And all of the players of FBX are getting ready. And as we see, there's, there's nothing really that Team Liquid can bring when it comes down to old Shirley. It's nice and great to have those Seekers. That's helpful, but Soulcast already falling. A very unhappy scenario as he's carrying such viable utility. But Scream, we know that he can do Scream things. We know that he's individually capable of retaking his side pretty much on his own in such scenarios. As Yumpy's getting closer, the cages are certainly getting away, but there are too many enemies around him. Too many enemies in his crosshair. And at the end of the day, at the point where we are at right now, 
Instant Jules coming in, and the Stinger, the Stinger of Soulcast. Suddenly, this looks like a round that really Epic should have been taking. They're not quite working out. Shower's the last alive. There's everything thrown at him. Well, we coming in. It's not looking too good, but does Sippa know that they're actually that far away? No, it's looking once more dangerous here from the side of Liquid. Because now, as you see, Yampi's taking out him. More control towards the side of C might be taken as Shadow right clicks. The control stays in the hands of FBX, but for how long? 10 seconds to get the spike down. Dimasik goes on and on, but Xiao Ooh. is having the lineup for them all. The triple back in the corner. Nobody paid attention. This is what you get. Players. Ready to take a duel. Dimasic happy to bait himself off and scream. No. Manages to get out as well as Soulcast trading. What on earth was that? Yes. And Zipan just goes for the widest peak to right that wrong and it makes it. Taking onto this so far, but the paranoia is going to hit the Eldron, but it still catches him. Who's going to try and fake teleport, get the timings right, but I don't know how much FPX are realistically going to fall for that play from Yampi. He's 19 HP, going to peek out, boom bot. It's going to scare him. Uh -oh. And now with no shrouded steps, he's out in the open and does eventually fall. Yeah, and not only him, it is Green joining that. As they shame the same coffin, Soulcast has been sneaking around but doesn't hit his shots. It's so unfortunate for him as it seemed like the flank might pay off. And here it comes, Link got a few players coming towards him. He seems like he's trying to make work off of that. But it was actually Shadow, my bad. Doesn't change the matter of fact that Link is still falling. But FBX picked to play Ascent after this, which I think is a real big balls move considering Team Liquid has such a, a winning streak on that map. And even now, FBX is oh. adding more fuel to the fire for this no. win. And Shao's lined up too with Hunter's Ooh. Fury. The last one doesn't actually kill Link. But look at all of those FBX players that are looking for him. It seems like I know there's a exactly warrant out of this man. Well, Cryptix is actually using his ult on this. One more frag, by the way, then Link is going to be ready to use the Rolling Thunder. Cryptix is also joining that, but, well, this double is not going to let you go that easily. 45 points of health done and getting the control over on the B side. Also, the Seekers are coming in. Sippin is looking for more. But he's backing off for the moment as Soulcast is trying to come with a push, but absolutely is being denied. Scream, seven bullets in the max. Not going to be easy to find a multi-kill, but obviously we know what kind of capacities this man has Ooh. together with Cryptics. They make it work with ease as the pincer in them. Take remaining. a look at Yampiex. That's a flank by the book, and this brings them number two. A, that casual stroll might be interrupted by a white peak of Shao. Flight They're pretty much lining up. The late peak coming in slow and steady. That's absolute success. And um, Angel, Angel? Uh, his mouse disconnected or something for sure. Cramp yeah, in the he, hand. He didn't really react overall. His mouse looking a bit further down. One but it's okay. Remaining. The rest of his team has this on lockdown. It's just going to be Soul Cast, so... He needs a second. I should deny vision, but the chaos descends over on A, and that entire chaos scream still getting Xiao, but Shadow's gonna swing, finds the first, and this is obviously the Belgian being absolutely Whoa. obliterated. The flash has worked by the book, but Shadow is still in it. Talking about it, one more remains down is Link. Could technically speaking do something with his ult, but he says bye bye A-side. I'm not looking for it, but he was is having it. Pete to just be like I'm, I'm off. I'm getting out of here. Chow actually taking over Scream is a real important thing to note because he can maybe throw in the ultimate at that point. Uh -oh. Zipan has found himself in a real tough position. He's separated from these Team Liquid players and the Rolling Thunder is about to get onto Angel. Zipan fully hit, is using that util no. and he's still able to find those kills. It's absolutely absurd. The man can't be stunned and it's still ice cold. The frags are coming in and... But now the shoe's on the other foot. The Dimasic Phoenix is where it's at. But Giampi goes, actually, no, don't forget about old me on the overall. There's three players, the gauntlet here for Team Liquid. Oh. They just absolutely Easy. minced them down. You can do in professional Valorant. It's, it's just not possible. And I think again and again, we saw individuals reinvent themselves. But talking about reinventing yourself, it seems like Cryptix is doing the same. An aggressive stance he picks with Cypher. And as even Sippin is getting major damage towards himself, he at least has the opportunity to get revitalized, most literally in this sense. Only playing one player on the B site. I think this might actually catch up Team Liquid if they're not careful. Xiao is happy to give up his position, and I thought Zipan might try and bait his teammate a little bit, play a bit slow. Now if Team Liquid do the maps, they'll know that there's going to be two players over in B main, and they clear both of them together. It completely isolates Shadow. 
None of those players were able to do too much to break onto it. But this is nice from Shadow up until Soulcast throws out the bait guiding light. Like looking at Shao's face, he's trying to work out exactly what's going on. But Dimasic again finds an opening. The running back is going to be used. He can't see anything, but he's trying to find where these players are. They know Yampi's on the B site. Now Cryptix has given up his position. And they try and peek onto Yampi. It goes relatively well, but Cryptix is still going to be a thorn in FPX's side. Angel picks up the operator. He does well. And so far, this weird buy from FPX with whatever they can get their money on has gone really well. And it's up for Soulcast to clutch. Yeah, the door. Is creaking open slowly, and this is the the flashes might be not as useful as expected. And poor Yumpy just has the marshal, but Cryptix at least Spike is there down, to support, please. which is not strong enough in the end. Yumpy will try, rips the first head off of Demasic, and he might just continue. That would have been the flick of his life. It is not happening. Might be has just bought enough time in that one. And as Shadow puts the spike on the ground, eyes. they right hand side is scream. Looking in the same direction, doesn't even peek it, but yep, there it is. Last Falls to his side, but Link does go down. They know where Scream is roughly, but he's just going to be able to scarper and get out. Oh, oh guy, he used to play American football, I think. He's quite stacked. True. But Soulcast is holding on. He's had to deal with a bit of a, a hit himself. And the Rolling Thunders there. Scream is playing in the, the ninja spot. He has to be cleared, but somehow some, nobody's really looking at him. He's able to dash and skip out. And now Angel's gonna hold oh, on this no, angle no, and the no, dash no, no. is trying to get onto Shadow. It cuts off Breach's man bun right at the back there. Almost gets the headshot, Ooh. but no damage done to Shadow. I mean, the matter of fact that he just could have given him a new haircut and ruined the round for FBX by millimeters of seeing Breach's head, but that didn't happen. Still, there was a man advantage that now has been neutralized. Cryptix doesn't see a thing. And it seems like they easily capitalize on it. But as I say that, back to a 2v2 with a flashbang coming in. Link thinks he can do that one jump in. Why not? Worth a try. But Yambi should not have this. There's no universe where you think that he can win such a 1v1. Shadow swinging. Is Shadow winning? He is. Start of stage 3. We're, we're not even close to the EMEA playoffs. Not even close to Berlin. So it's going to be interesting to see. FPX not afraid to let their presence known, and the run it back is going to very much be a strap yourselves in Team Liquid. Here comes the riot. The opening is found from Dimasic. Nice little crossfire. Cryptix may be quaking in his boots a little bit. He's on his own for now, and while Soulcast is trying to smoke off, Yampi comes in behind. The preemptive strike is there, and the FPX team have been silenced. Now Shadow, now Shao. The last two alive split up with the spike on sight, and this Cryptix player. He hasn't shown himself up just yet. Shadow. Ah, is being shot in the back as he feels the needles. He's burning around, suddenly gets killed from CT, and the same. He's really like to run that clock down to the bare minimum. Left. And as now those Seekers coming in, Sippin's having none of that. They're starting oh, to well, engage with the push. And suddenly you see it coming. Oh, this is going to be a disaster once more. As you see the old doing its best. Cryptix is hitting too many shots, if you ask me, for being stunned. But finally, Sippin is turning that one around. As though that teleport comes in in time. <laughs> that was a little bit of a bamboozle. But it seems to work at the end of the day. Liquid will not gain a sixth round right here. It was a really good Seekers as well coming in from Soulcast. The perfect time, 30 seconds left, gives you a good idea on exactly where FPX are looking to head. But they did force out Ultimate as well, rolling funders, even a Hunter's Fury going in onto the B site because Cryptix is living in FPX's head, rent free, and also living on the B site. It's so difficult to move off of that position. And Team Liquid, happy to give it up, happy to hold on to the gun. We're getting towards the end of this first half. At least now Scream could maybe make this more expensive. He does late. They enter the site and get the spike down. They really make use of all the time. Make it so Team Liquid don't have much utility to go on the retake. The guns aren't great either. And Soulcast is always good at getting something out of these guiding lights. An opening for Yampi, but that's all it's going to be. Now Shao knows where those flashes can come from. And going into the last round, 6-5 is going to be the score. And Team Liquid going into this next round, which is the last round of the half. Going to hold on to these two Vandals. Their money... They've been holding on, but they haven't really been forced to eco. This is just going from good to great for FPX. 
Yumpy Yumpy is coming off the cheapest one. Oh, Demisic can be very happy that he survived that. And he's definitely gonna be checked, but Link is not gonna find him in the end. Man was stunned, but still gonna make spike. it. Back. But that exactly, as you say, is the spike delivered on a silver platter. Thank you very much for that one, FPX. 30 seconds left. Now, if MP can isolate these fights, it would be good. Zipan is in two minds of where he's going to play from, but gets the peek in, also gets a resurrect onto Xiao. A good choice. The Recom Dart is maybe going to be available, but Dimasic is playing on the site, playing close, wants to dig these jewels, but just sees the cap of Cryptics, wanting to close the door, manages to get it. The spike should go down. Dimasic's Blaze Wall in just to give them a bit of space, but now Xiao, recently deceased, is going to die once again this round, and Soulcast does well. It's going to put a quell to their ideas, but the kills are still managing uh -oh. to come in. That Aftershock is lucky that it doesn't hit Soulcast. He manages to hold on with 8 Stop, HP and Scream trades out. Still a 4 versus 4, but look how low health those Team Liquid Insane. players are. Soulcast got no heal, by the way, so that's not going to help it. Another Ooh. shock dart. That could have been an electrifying performance for Scream, but seems like no high voltage coming this way around this time. Don't want to have a defeatist opinion on it, but it looks so fatter, rather sinister. And as I say, that Soulcast still finds one. Xiao could be in a bit of that trouble. Oh, Soulcast with such okay. a swing. And Shadow's just on a total different position. Again, we have started with something like 130 points of health planted. on three players. He got both. He got both of them together in that spot. And now Shadow... This should have been around clean for FBX. They took the initiative mm. and it worked out for the most part. But Soulcast, the 8 HP Soulcast, clutching out in the end of the last half and now the start of the second. They're just holding on. The utility is going to slowly come back on to cool down. The fault line is still a flash for Breach. The Guardian Light's the one that's played off. It's a full buy here. The Execute coming in off the back of Soulcast's Seekers. No and way. And Xiao caught out with the Odin and traded out from Shadow. A little worried to, to see them not paying attention to something like that. Spike planted. And that leads us obviously to an opportunity once more for, for Team Liquid to just absolutely establish early. With such a lurk, I thought Yampi could have had that with ease, but... Well, not that much with ease, obviously. It seems like they sense what is about to happen over on the side of B. As it only remains down to Soulcast. Good luck, have fun, mates. I'm the best guy in the world, or, well, Prodigy to be. Can't hold it. The Angel's going to feel the full brunt, but the rotate is coming in a bit slowly from FPX. And look at the luck from Cryptics as well. Lots of ground to cover for FPX as this exit comes in. Oh yeah, and that, that seems to be... Scream, hold on, he's still waiting on that. He's still in Generator, but he's whiffing massively. Oh goodness, the Blade Storm looked proper, but nope. It's not happening, Scream fails. And that, in the end of the day, causes Team Liquid to crumble. And oh, you saw it right there. It was Scream trying to play off the Generator. Like, no, I was never here, but... At the end... Oh, here, using this Util and the smoke as well from Yampi. Is it going to pull a rotate? Is FBX going to predict this bait or not? It has glued Angel to this side, but still... Oh, yeah. Xiao and Soulcast are over on that B side. Dimasic pokes his head into mid, finds all the information he needs, and now Team Liquid need to go. Well, it's pretty much only that Xiao at this point. And as he's trying to spray it down, gets blinded at the wrong point in time. Ah, this is a bit of a disastrous round in the end for FPX as it looked so brilliant. Got the entry first of all, but now they're losing the duels they were looking for. At least Shadow's on it. Still has the Rolling Thunder. If he wants to come up with the explosion with their Earthquake on the ground, they know where Cryptics is. Another one just jumping in your face. Oh, the EU casters are all so mean, is what I found out. Oh, it also mean. I'm not, how am I mean? Taking, taking advantage, and that's what Soulcast is about to do here as well. Taking advantage of my, my good faith. <laughs> Shao's got to keep an eye on it with the Eldra and gets all of the information, sees all five players, and Scream wants to use this opportunity to see what he can see as well. Taking those fights, he's going to actually move his way around to market, and Demisic shuts it down. The res is going to bring the numbers back in favor, at least for the most part, for FBX. We're going to have this extra stuff, and all of the ultimates used. There is the rolling thunder coming in from Link, and it's a uh, a heated Ooh. battle with everything being thrown out. Now Cryptic's holding on with this sheriff in this corner. It's suddenly dwindled down in numbers. Link still trying to hold down B main positioning, but it's a one versus three. Yeah, and one guy's going in for the fuse. They know that Link's just around there. 
And I mean, it's not gonna stop him. It, it's, it's, it's not like he's gonna stop the defuse at that point in time. Waiting in front of the gates of the A side. A short, to be accurate, would still have the paranoia if they consider pushing through. That might have been a little bit too early. <laughs> and you saw the Tasmanian Tiger not seeing a thing, but Angel is aware and oh, he's going for the ults. That's a little bit risky considering that they could have just all pushed it, but no. He cancelled it. Yep. Oh, he was Third going for the cute left. play, the one that Yampi tried a little bit earlier, but. Team Liquid aren't even going to try and bother with that. That Ooh. is a nice aftershock. It puts Angel into a really terrible oh, position. <gasps> and Dimisic trying to peek gets caught out from Cryptics after getting one. Now suddenly it's got interesting. 15 seconds on the clock. The spike over in A main. Can be picked up. A shout holding it down with the old. What? The only thing that's really important though, Ryan. The ults. Dimisic is one of them now equipped with one of those on the FPX site. Yeah. I wasn't that impressed with him to oh, be oh. able to go for the peak in mid it feel like he wanted to shut down the series as soon as possible a bit of patience might have been needed once more the direction is clear going towards the side of b is definitely what they're trying to do scream has now been spotted demon is using his ult can't find too much with it but maybe that's a bit of information gained as scream is falling with the flank from xiao it might be already done at this point in time as they find one frack after another poor